Sperm whale. The sperm whale or cachalot, Physa de macrocephalus, is the largest of the toothed whales and the largest toothed predator. It is the only living member of the genus Physeter and one of three extant species in the sperm whale family, along with the pygmy sperm whale and dwarf sperm whale of the genus Kogia. The sperm whale is a pelagic mammal with a worldwide range, and will migrate seasonally for feeding and breeding. Females and young males live together in groups, while mature males live solitary lives outside of the mating season. The females cooperate to protect and nurse their young. Females give birth every 4 to 20 years, and care for the calves for more than a decade. A mature sperm whale has few natural predators, although calves and weakened adults are sometimes killed by pods of killer whales. Mature males average 16 meters in length but some may reach 20.7 meters, with the head representing up to one-third of the animal's length. Plunging to 2,250 meters, it is the third deepest diving mammal, exceeded only by the southern elephant seal and Cuvier's beaked whale. The sperm whale uses echolocation and vocalization as loud as 230 decibels underwater. It has the largest brain on Earth, more than five times heavier than a human's. Sperm whales can live 70 years or more. Sperm whales usually dive between 300 to 800 meters, and sometimes 1 to 2 kilometers, in search of food. Such dives can last more than an hour. They feed on several species, notably the giant squid, but also the colossal squid, octopuses, and fish such as demersal rays, but their diet is mainly medium-sized squid. Some prey may be taken accidentally while eating other items. Most of what is known about deep-sea squid has been learned from specimens in captured sperm whale stomachs, although more recent studies analyzed feces. Spermaceti, sperm oil, from which the whale derives its name, was a prime target of the whaling industry, and was sought after for use in oil lamps, lubricants, and candles. Ambergris, a solid waxy waste product sometimes present in its digestive system, is still highly valued as a fixative in perfumes, among other uses. Beachcombers look out for ambergris's flotsam. Sperm whaling was a major industry in the 19th century, depicted in the novel Moby Dick. The species is protected by the International Whaling Commission Moratorium, and is listed as vulnerable by the International Union for Conservation of Nature. Biology. The sperm whale is among the most sexually dimorphic of all cetaceans. At birth, both sexes are about the same size, but mature males are typically 30% to 50% longer and three times as massive as females. Newborn sperm whales are usually between 3.7 to 4.3 meters long in length. Female sperm whales are physically mature at about 10.6 to 11 meters in length and generally don't grow much larger than about 12 meters. Male sperm whales are physically mature at about 16 meters in length and generally reaching a maximum of about 18 to 19 meters. There are old reports of sperm whales approaching, reaching or exceeding 80 feet in length, but there is disagreement as to the accuracy of these claims which are often considered exaggerations or as being measured along the curves of the body. The whale that sank the Essex, one of the incidents behind Moby Dick, was claimed to be 26 meters. The Nantucket Whaling Museum has a 5.5 meters long jawbone. The museum claims that this individual was 24 meters long. A 5 meters long jawbone is held in the British Natural History Museum and a 4.7 meters long jawbone is held in the Oxford University Museum of Natural History. In 1853, one sperm whale was reported at 62 feet in length with a head measuring 20 feet. The largest animal weighed in whole was a sperm whale which measured 18 meters long and weighed 53 tons. The largest sperm whale weighed in piecemeal was 18.1 meters long and weighed 57 tons. An individual measuring 20.7 meters was reported from a Soviet whaling fleet near the Kuril Islands in 1950 and is cited by some authors as the largest accurately measured. It has been estimated to weigh 80 tons. In a review of size variation in marine megafauna, McLean and colleagues noted that the International Whaling Commission's largest recorded male was 24 meters in 1933, which they supported as the largest. However, sizes like these are rare, with 95% of recorded sperm whales below 15.85 meters. Extensive whaling may have decreased their size, as males were highly sought, primarily after World War II. Today, males do not usually exceed 18.3 meters in length or 51 tons in weight. 
Another view holds that exploitation by overwhaling had virtually no effect on the size of the bull sperm whales, and their size may have actually increased in current times on the basis of density-dependent effects. Old males taken at Salander Islands were recorded to be extremely large and unusually rich in blubbers. The sperm whale's unique body is unlikely to be confused with any other species. The sperm whale's distinctive shape comes from its very large, block-shaped head, which can be one quarter to one third of the animal's length. The S-shaped blowhole is located very close to the front of the head and shifted to the whale's left. This gives rise to a distinctive bushy, forward-angled spray. The sperm whale's flukes, tail lobes, are triangular and very thick. Proportionally, they are larger than that of any other cetacean, and are very flexible. The whale lifts its flukes high out of the water as it begins a feeding dive. It has a series of ridges on the back's caudal third instead of a dorsal fin. The largest ridge was called the hump by whalers, and can be mistaken for a dorsal fin because of its shape and size. In contrast to the smooth skin of most large whales, its back skin is usually wrinkly and has been likened to a prune by whale-watching enthusiasts. Albinos have been reported. Skeleton. The ribs are bound to the spine by flexible cartilage, which allows the rib cage to collapse rather than snap under high pressure. While sperm whales are well adapted to diving, repeated dives to great depths have long-term effects. Bones show the same pitting that signals decompression sickness in humans. Older skeletons showed the most extensive pitting, whereas calves showed no damage. This damage may indicate that sperm whales are susceptible to decompression sickness, and sudden surfacing could be lethal to them. Like that of all cetaceans, the spine of the sperm whale has reduced zygopophysial joints, of which the remnants are modified and are positioned higher on the vertebral dorsal spinous process, hugging it laterally, to prevent extensive lateral bending and facilitate more dorso-ventral bending. These evolutionary modifications make the spine more flexible but weaker than the spines of terrestrial vertebrates. Like many cetaceans, the sperm whale has a vestigial pelvis that is not connected to the spine. Like that of other toothed whales, the skull of the sperm whale is asymmetrical so as to aid echolocation. Sound waves that strike the whale from different directions will not be channeled in the same way. Within the basin of the cranium, the openings of the bony narial tubes, from which the nasal passages spring, are skewed towards the left side of the skull. Jaws and teeth. The sperm whale's lower jaw is very narrow and underslung. The sperm whale has 18 to 26 teeth on each side of its lower jaw which fit into sockets in the upper jaw. The teeth are cone-shaped and weigh up to 1 kg each. The teeth are functional, but do not appear to be necessary for capturing or eating squid, as well-fed animals have been found without teeth or even with deformed jaws. One hypothesis is that the teeth are used in aggression between males. Mature males often show scars which seem to be caused by the teeth. Rudimentary teeth are also present in the upper jaw, but these rarely emerge into the mouth. Analyzing the teeth is the preferred method for determining a whale's age. Like the age rings in a tree, the teeth build distinct layers of cementum and dentine as they grow. Brain. The sperm whale brain is the largest known of any modern or extinct animal, weighing on average about 7.8 kilograms, with the smallest known weighing 6.4 kilograms and the largest known weighing 9.2 kilograms, more than five times heavier than a human's, and has a volume of about 8,000 cc. Although larger brains generally correlate with higher intelligence, it is not the only factor. Elephants and dolphins also have larger brains than humans. The sperm whale has a lower encephalization quotient than many other whale and dolphin species, lower than that of non-human anthropoid apes, and much lower than humans. The sperm whale's cerebrum is the largest in all mammalia, both in absolute and relative terms. The olfactory system is reduced, suggesting that the sperm whale has a poor sense of taste and smell. By contrast, the auditory system is enlarged. The pyramidal tract is poorly developed, reflecting the reduction of its limbs. Senses. Atop the whale's skull is positioned a large complex of organs filled with a liquid mixture of fats and waxes called spermaceti. The purpose of this complex is to generate powerful and focused clicking sounds, which the sperm whale uses for echolocation and communication. The spermaceti organ is like a large barrel of spermaceti. Its surrounding wall, known as the case, is extremely tough and fibrous. The case can hold within it up to 1,900 liters of spermaceti. 
it is proportionately larger in males. This oil is a mixture of triglycerides and wax esters. The proportion of wax esters in the spermaceti organ increases with the age of the whale, 38 to 51 percent in calves, 58 to 87 percent in adult females, and 71 to 94 percent in adult males. The spermaceti at the core of the organ has a higher wax content than the outer areas. The speed of sound in spermaceti is 2684 meters per second at 40 kHz, 36 degrees Celsius, making it nearly twice as fast as in the oil in a dolphin's melon. Below the spermaceti organ lies that junk which consists of compartments of spermaceti separated by cartilage. It is analogous to the melon found in other toothed whales. The structure of the junk redistributes physical stress across the skull and may have evolved to protect the head during ramming. Running through the head are two air passages. The left passage runs alongside the spermaceti organ and goes directly to the blowhole, whilst the right passage runs underneath the spermaceti organ and passes air through a pair of phonic lips and into the distal sac at the very front of the nose. The distal sac is connected to the blowhole and the terminus of the left passage. When the whale is submerged, it can close the blowhole, and air that passes through the phonic lips can circulate back to the lungs. The sperm whale, unlike other odontocetes, has only one pair of phonic lips, whereas all other toothed whales have two, and it is located at the front of the nose instead of behind the melon. At the posterior end of this spermaceti complex is the frontal sac, which covers the concave surface of the cranium. The posterior wall of the frontal sac is covered with fluid-filled knobs, which are about 4 to 13 mm in diameter and separated by narrow grooves. The anterior wall is smooth. The knobbly surface reflects sound waves that come through the spermaceti organ from the phonic lips. The grooves between the knobs trap a film of air that is consistent whatever the orientation or depth of the whale, making it an excellent sound mirror. Sleeping. For some time researchers have been aware that pods of sperm whales may sleep for short periods, assuming a vertical position with their heads just below or at the surface. A 2008 study published in Current Biology recorded evidence that whales may sleep with both sides of the brain. It appears that some whales may fall into a deep sleep for about 7% of the time, most often between 6 p.m. and midnight. Thanks for watching.